This is my rain catchment system. Um, I have a hose coming off. This is one of those quick locks. Big valve, quick lock, adapter down to a spigot. Goes into that nice rubber hose, goes you know, down towards my chickens and my uh, garden. And uh, I use this for catching the rainwater off of my roof up there. I just have a short piece of gutter. It was over here on this part of my house. Now it's over on this part of my house. And uh, I know that nasty green sludge, uh, it's just some algae. When I turn this tank over, you can really see it. See, it's in the... It, it come out... When I had it upside down, it came out of the, uh, the hole. But it's just a side effect of having a tank the sunlight can get through that the uh, algae can grow in it doesn't hurt the animals it doesn't hurt the garden uh, but I have about 10 foot of gutter here and with one good rainstorm it'll fill this up and I just have it set on some cribbing a little bit of 6 by 6 scrap it's not even level it doesn't have to be all it has to do is slope down this way so that it can drain I had a uh, Sureflow pump. It's gravity downhill from here, but I had a Sureflow pump hooked up to my 12 volt system, but one of the uh, ends is broke off of that Sureflow pump, so I'm gonna have to fix it just to give me some uh, high pressure for my uh, for spraying my garden in the summertime. But it catches, you know, it's 250 gallons, however much it is. It was full this morning, or it was half full, and I drained it out and filled my uh, chicken water tank up down there with it because I didn't want to waste all the water but uh, I moved it but anyway this uh, allows me to catch some water for my uh, for my chickens and for my for my garden and if I had to I could filter it and drink it uh, I wouldn't be my first choice we have a well but uh, but if I had to it would be an extra water source we also have a creek so uh, I apologize for me sniffling, but it's because I'm trying not to sneeze and the pollen is getting kind of interesting here. But uh, anyway, just doing chores around the house and uh, little things that need doing and I uh, figured I'd do a little clip of it. I might upload this to YouTube today or tomorrow. Just kind of give you an idea. of It doesn't have to be a complicated rain catchment system to be useful. If the power goes out and you don't have water, 250 gallons gravity fed will keep your garden going through the dry anyway that's it